All right, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? So I want to present you guys with kind of like an on-the-spot, out-of-character video, uh, just to kind of, you know, talk straight with you guys, and, well, let's just get right into the video. Now, first things first, before I go any further with the main point of the video here, I want to take a moment to seriously thank you guys for the amount of love and support that you guys have shown my two side channels already. I mean, my Pokemon Go channel has already reached a pretty solid milestone of 25 epic subscribers already, and this is just in a two-day period. And my other channel, being the competitive Pokemon channel, Mega Crasher Pro, uh, has almost got 40 epic subscribers, and I have yet to upload any real content on there, which don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'll actually be working on a video for that channel tonight, and it will be uploaded tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. But now, let's get back to the video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that I have spoken about this several times throughout several videos, and I know that you guys are probably getting a little bit tired of it at this point, and don't worry, I am too. But it just, honestly, it seems like that. It's just, it honestly just keeps getting more and more interesting, and I say that in not so much of a good way, because we actually have ourselves even more things that are going on with YouTube, and it just, it honestly, I'm just thinking to myself, it's like, Oh man, like, th pretty soon things are going to be falling off really, really badly for YouTube, and the thing is also, is that it's pretty much a clear-cut case that if you are a daily uploader, then the odds are definitely not in your favor, you know? It almost seems like that it, you have to force yourself to not upload daily and upload, say, like, maybe, uh, you know, two or three times or even four times a week, but basically, you know, you're not uploading every single day um, in order for you to even get any sort of traction on the site, which I think is kind of BS if you think about it. Because of the fact that, you know, there are people that have dedicated, you know, years of their time uploading to YouTube daily, and the thing is that they wouldn't be penalized for it, but now it's like, oh, you know, if you upload daily, you know, we, we consider your content spammy, so therefore we're not going to get it out to your subscribers. It's like, seriously, it's like that that's the kind of stuff that really needs to piss off because the way I see it is that YouTube means it should be about you and what you want to make what you want to watch and you know who you want to support you know like back in its heyday back in I don't know 2014 to 2016 you know everything was like bang up, you know, like anybody and everybody who had passion and, you know, really put their mind to the site and making their content, you know, working on the uploads, you know, the videos, you know, making sure the edits are good and making good quality content, you know, if you really put your mind to it, you would be able to get somewhere, you know, I mean, hell, like, look at me, like, I started YouTube in 2015, um, I, I came from absolutely nothing, absolute zero, zilch, goose egg, donut, um, and the thing is, is that, you know, like, I was able to, uh, be able to make somewhat good growth and, you know, really good traction and all that stuff. And I say somewhat because, you know, you compare it to, like, those that are in, like, the tens of thousands and, like, hundreds of thousands and it's like, yeah, okay, like, they're, they're, they're slightly higher. But you know what, for what all of it is worth and for, you know, what it is that I have to offer, I felt like that we did really damn well. And the thing is, I wouldn't have been able to do this without all of you. Like, you guys are the real reasons why I'm here and why we are at this point as to where we are right now and seriously god love you guys you guys are really amazing but the thing is though guys is that it's like now whenever you upload daily they they seemingly punish you which is really really bad like that's just that's not cool man now the main premise of this video actually comes from this tweet that you're seeing right here from boogie 2988 and it reads and I quote dear YouTube YouTube is not TV the reason if it's more successful is because it is an alternative to TV stop trying to make it more like TV Small creators are your biggest strength. I don't care what your advertisers say. Advertisers mean nothing without viewers. Signed, and it shows a dotted line. And honestly, you know, I am one of the first people to sign on the dotted line, so to speak, by liking and retweeting this tweet. So if you guys could do the same thing, that would be great. Because honestly, Boogie2988 is 100% right. And it's kind of something that we've been saying for the longest time. But... 
The thing is that somebody as influential as Boogie to come out and say this, it honestly really means a lot, and it puts a lot of pull, you know, towards our opinion as well. And the fact is, is that, you know, YouTube is not TV, and they're trying so desperately hard to make it like TV, you know, by constantly jamming down our throats all of these big content creators that, you know, we don't really care about watching, you know, like Ellen DeGeneres, you know, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, you know, BuzzFeed. And we get that they make content that gets millions and millions of views every video. And here's the thing, I'm not hating on that because you know what? Obviously those guys are gonna have their fans. So you know what, if you guys are fans of that content, Hey, that's 100% cool with me, you know, but the thing is that, you know, my issue isn't with the fans, it is with the way that YouTube is constantly shoving down our throats content that we legitimately don't like watching. I mean, seriously, it's like, they have taken the you out of YouTube, and now it feels more like, I don't know, uh, money tube or corporate tube or, you know, something like that. I mean, it seriously don't feel like YouTube no more. Now... Ladies and gentlemen, it gets even better than this, okay? It's because uh, not only do we have YouTube trying to be like TV, uh, we also have YouTube, you know, shoving down our throats content that we don't like watching, but also they are actually putting recommended content, you know, in our subs feed and our sub boxes and all that stuff of people that we don't like watching. I mean, he, <laughs> I'll be the first also to say upright that like about 99.9% .9 of the content that's recommended to me I either never even heard about that person or never heard about them or I just straight up don't care and don't watch because it's content that doesn't interest me, you know? And if that isn't enough, ladies and gentlemen, check out this screenshot here. This one comes from Jesse Cox and it reads, and I quote, I guess if videos I want to see don't show up in my sub box, then that's a logical step was to put videos I do not want to see cool YouTube. Now, here's the thing, is that it even shows in the screenshot within the tweet that your YouTube is actually subscribing this person to their channel in which this person never actually did it themselves. So, is YouTube actually, like, gonna start subscribing our channels to channels that they recommend to us? Like, as if recommending their videos on our subs feed and our sub boxes isn't enough, now there's a possibility that YouTube is going to start subscribing us to channels that either we've never heard of or that we just straight up don't care about watching. It's like, seriously, that, wow. Um, if that's the case, that's, oh man, that's, oh, that is absolutely messed up. That is, that's messed up. Like, damn, like something, something must have gone real fruity in the brain of the YouTube now because everything just seems to be all collectively messed up. But you know what, though, is that despite everything that is going on, you know, I'm never going to lose the dream of wanting to inspire and entertain people because that's really what I want to do. And, and you know what? It's like I know that, you know, back when I announced that I was going to be taking a break and, you know, I was going through quite the serious bout of depression, uh, not really sure if I even wanted to come back to YouTube or, you know, didn't think that I had a place or that I lost my place or whatever. The thing is that at the end of the day, you know, this is truly what I want to do. Like, I don't care if I get paid and all that stuff. It's like, I love doing this. I, I love doing this. And there's no way that YouTube or anything or anyone can take that from me. Because the thing is, is that you guys have given me the confidence to keep on going. And the fact is also is that you guys have been really, really supportive and really awesome. No matter what it is that I have done, no matter what it is I've said. And the thing is that you guys, while you've been very supportive through my mistakes I made, you guys also have not been shy, you know, calling me out on those mistakes. And the thing is that that's something that I also love about you guys. Because, you know, I one of the things that I'm about here in this channel is being 100% percent with you guys and you guys are 100 percent with me you know whenever i've made a mistake you guys have always been you know really upfront uh and honest about it you haven't been rude but you guys have been very upfront about it which is something that i 110 percent appreciate and always will and you guys know that i'm good for it when it comes to you know making better of my mistakes you know being a better person and learning better from the mistakes that i made so that way you know i can grow from it and that we can all learn something move on and have a good day kind of thing you know now there's actually something else i want to talk about there real quick also relating to boogie i 
won't take too long. I apologize. This video is a little bit longer than I expected, but let's get to the point so we waste no more time. So he made a video where he was more or less, you know, asking his subscribers and viewers to unsubscribe from him and then resubscribe and turn on post notifications to battle the new algorithms when it comes to the YouTube sub boxes. Now, the thing is, is that like for, for us to uh, have to go through those lengths just to try to battle algorithms and to show YouTube to say, hey, like, we don't like it when you're doing it this way, you know, we don't like the fact that you're messing with our sub boxes, you know, there's something incredibly wrong here, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out, you know, um... I'll link you guys to the video in the description box down below. I mean, I just, I seen it, and I was facepalming the whole entire time, you know? Um, just the fact that YouTube thinks that they can now control what us, the viewers, want to see, like, that's just honestly, again, you know, I, I go back to the point of saying that it's not about you anymore. Like, the you in YouTube is, is false. Like, it's false advertisement, you know? One of the main selling points that YouTube formerly had was that it was about you and what you could create and what you could do and all that stuff but now it's like you know we don't give a damn about creativity you know we give a damn about you know who can make us the most cash it's like seriously like that is bs you know it's time now that, you know, YouTube needs to seriously start appreciating hardcore their smaller content creators because, you know, whether they like it or not, we are the future. You know, we're going to be, you know, the next group of big YouTubers in line. Now, I'm not saying we as in us. I mean, you know, you never know. Like, but <laughs> what I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit uh, blunt and practical here. You know, it's like uh, the fact that, you know, all of these big YouTubers and all of these TV celebrities, you know, they're, they're, they're there and, you know, they are so desperately clinging on to the spotlight that they have got for years now. It's like sooner or later, they're going to retire. And it's like, okay, well, you know, who's going to be next in line? You know, WTF, like what's going on? You know, YouTube's probably thinking. But the thing is that they're not going to have anybody left because they pushed away all of the original content creators that were set to be the next in line. And, you know, again, I, I just, it's just unbelievable. And I just don't even know what else I can say at this point. Again, it's like, I'm not trying to sh throw shade at anyone in particular. You know, this isn't about that, but it's more or less to address more things YouTube related and, you know, to say, what the hell, YouTube? Like, seriously, what on earth are you doing? Who is running your site? So something else I kind of wanted to touch base on there real quick. I know I've, I've talked about this before, but just to kind of reiterate this, um, one of the reasons why I thought it would be a good idea to split off into different channels is because to not only, you know, kind of give us more breathing room on one channel uh, and, you know, kind of spread the love to other channels. So that way it kind of gives you guys the choice as to what content you want to watch, whether it's Pokemon Go related or whether it's competitive Pokemon related or whether it's relating to anything else really, you know, on this main channel right here. But also it's to combat the new algorithms that punish daily uploaders because now we don't have to upload daily on a single channel we can spread the love and we can do a video here on this channel we can do a video there on mega crasher pro or mega crasher go um and it won't be deemed daily uploads because they're on separate channels and not to mention also with my work schedule and stuff like that it would be damn near impossible to be able to upload daily content for you guys on all three channels consistently because it would just be very very taxing very quick and i would get burnt out again you know um but the thing is, though, is I once again want to say thank you guys for your guys' support and understanding in that decision, and also for supporting the channels as big as it is already. I mean, like I said, you know, my Pokemon Go channel, Mega Crasher Go, has hit a really awesome milestone of 25 subscribers, and it was like a, a two-day period or something like that, and my Mega Crasher Pro channel hitting almost 40 subscribers, and we haven't really uploaded any content on that yet, but with that being said, though, guys, uh, that's going to end this video video off right here. Just kind of wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a couple of things and also kind of just uh, reiterate a couple of points and, as well as to say thank you guys again for all the love and support that you guys have shown me as a person, as a creator, as well as to this community as well. You know, that's why I consider you guys the best because you guys are the best and, you know, I would be nothing without all of you guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, I love each and every single one of you guys. So now it's time to go some pump some iron, baby. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, subscribe support stay positive keep it 100 i'll see you next time i salute you have a good night Woo!